Hey, Clark, today's the day. It's in the back. I'll go get it. What's he getting? A Direct Connect 300 baud modem. How much? Don't worry, I'm using my allowance. Plus, Clark gave me a healthy discount for helping with his application to medical school. Okay. What's a modem do? It allows me to connect my computer to other computers that also have one. Why would you need to do that? So I can share my scientific ideas with academics all over the world. It's like the cybernetic version of the Algonquin Roundtable. I don't know what that means. That's okay. You're still my dad and I'm genetically obligated to love you. Ooh, someone responded to a theory I posted on the physics bulletin board. He called my work flawed. That's rude. Let him know he can't push you around. That's why I did a baseball practice. I'd rather not resort to name calling. It usually gets me stuffed somewhere uncomfortable. That's in person, where people know you're pathetic and weak. That's true. This is completely anonymous. I can say whatever I want without fear of physical retaliation. Thanks. And on that day, my sister created the first internet flame war. That is as cruel as it is grammatical. And send. <laughs> You're so funny. I think so. Most people don't. What's that noise? No idea. Georgie, I need you to get off the phone. Hang on, Lisa. I'm helping someone with their English homework. I don't have time for jokes. I need the phone line to connect to my modem. What the hell's a modem? It links my computer to an interconnected web of other computers in order to facilitate the exchange of ideas. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Sadly, that was not the stupidest thing he ever said. It's just so easy. All you do is type in the Usenet address, sci dot theory dot physics dot research dot quantum press enter and it comes right up careful in war games matthew broderick almost blew up the world the only thing I'm going to be blowing up is this fellow's flimsy argument. That was one of my classic jokes. Feel free to laugh. See? Like magic. <gasps> well, I never. Hello? I'm having a scientific argument with someone, and I need your help. I do love a good science fight. Has it devolved to name-calling yet? Yes, I called him a Pongo Pygmius. Ho oh, ho! A Bornean orangutan! That is a creature who would be very bad at science. Well done! I'm gonna destroy him with this. And when you do, feel free to call him a Scarabaeus fietii, a dung beetle. Oh, I so admire your mind. Back at you, little man. Thanks to Dr. Sturgis, I had all the intellectual ammunition I needed to bring my opponent to his knees. I accused him of conflating two different interpretations of quantum theory, woefully misrepresenting Paul Dirac, and when I called him a dung beetle in Latin, I was so riled up, I almost started producing testosterone. Ooh, the long-awaited rebuttal. While I still believe my theory has merit, I will concede that your point has some validity. My point has some validity. My point has some validity! Yes! What does my point have? Some validity! Uh.